what is going on with the sea ice around Antarctica? It seems to be less and less every year. Hello, friends. Jim here. Well, let's discuss this. This uh, article appeared on phys.org. And uh, see some... It's around Antarctica. Got some ice there. Regular cycle of freezing and thawing of Antarctica sea ice keeps our planet functioning, regulating environmental parameters. Data from the U.S. NSIDC, Boulder, Colorado, have revealed another summer of exceptionally low sea ice extent around Antarctica. Don't forget the winter sea ice extent has been pretty low as well. Sea ice extent around Antarctica was measured at you know, basically 2 million square kilometers. Science is suggesting a regime shift could be underway. It's the third year in a row Antarctic sea ice extent has dropped below the long-term summer average of 2 to 4 million square kilometers since satellite records began in 1979. February 2023 20, holds the record for the lowest summer sea ice extent over the past 46 years of 1.77 million square kilometers, 36% less than average. Winter sea ice extent has also been declining. In September 2023, it dipped to a new record low of 16.96 million square kilometers compared to the usual 19 to 20 million square kilometers. The NSIDC said that the trend in summer sea ice extent is a reduction of 4,700 square kilometers per year or 1.7% per decade relative to 1981 to 2010 average. Now, there's that 30-year average. This reduction is not statistically significant due to volatile year-to-year -year changes in Antarctic sea ice over the last two decades. In stark contrast to the Arctic, where the decline is continuous and larger in magnitude. However, CI scientist Dr. Petra Heil from the Department of Climate Change, Energy, Environment, and Water Australian Antarctic Division said if Antarctic sea ice continues to decline, it will have global consequences. The decline in Antarctic sea ice directly impacts the local climate and ecosystem, but also affects climate and ecosystem processes around the world with repercussions for our lifestyle and economic interests, she said. Our Antarctic marine and field research, as well as remote sensing analysis over more than 30 years, has been invaluable to our understanding of sea ice chain and its far-reaching impacts. But we need to intensify our research to obtain critical observations now, given the rate of change has accelerated severely. How many times have you heard me stress that it's the rate of change that is very troubling? The current decline, which has been underway since 2016, comes after more than 30 years of a small steady gain in Antarctic sea ice. This included a record winter high in 2012 and another in 2014. Then in the spring of 2016, Antarctic sea ice fell to a then record low and has been below average for most years since. Research points to ocean warming as playing a key role in the deficit of sea ice around Antarctica since then. Yes, finally, someone acknowledging ocean warming. Recall that I did a video examining just this very thing. You know, it was about a 40 minute video about how the ocean heat content is impacting Antarctic sea ice and land ice. Scientists say Antarctic sea ice may have been pushed to a new state of diminished coverage, 
similar to that in the Arctic, from which it may not recover. Antarctic sea ice has been described as the beating heart of the planet as it expands in winter and contracts in summer. Well, you can say the same thing for the Arctic sea ice. This regular cycle of freezing and thawing keeps our planet functioning, regulating global climate and sea level rise. Well, hang on. Losing sea ice does not in, uh, influence, impacts uh, sea levels themselves. It's the melting land ice that, as it melts and goes into the oceans, increases sea levels. So kind of a, uh, an inaccurate statement there. Sea ice also provides habitat for krill and other small marine creatures that are food for whales, penguins, seals, and fish. These smaller marine organisms also perform e important eco fun ecosystem function, such as extracting carbon from the atmosphere. Probably referring to the ice edge productivity or, you know, forming the sea ice, you've got brine uh, rejection, and which can be its own little mini ecosystem drivers as well. Let's not also forget the upwelling in the Antarctic Divergence Zone from the conveyor belt that brings important nutrients that help drive the food system down there as well. The Australian Antarctic Program has a range of long-term observing and other research activities to understand the nature and impacts of sea ice change. These include remote sensing and physical on-ice measurements within the sea ice zone. The data collected from this work will help validate and calibrate satellite observations of sea ice and improve satellite-derived products. These allow scientists to scale up more localized measurements, provide an Antarctic-wide picture of the sea ice environment. Physical uh, sea ice measurements also help build an accurate picture of how ocean, ice, atmosphere processes contribute to sea ice changes and provide baseline data to ensure satellite derived data forecasts and model predictions are accurate. Basically, <clears throat> remember, this is all coupled. They don't happen separately. The ocean, the atmosphere, the sea ice, they're all, it's all a coupled system. Given Antarctic global reach, if we want to understand the risk to Australia from climate tipping point, we need to improve our knowledge of processes and change in Antarctic and the Southern Ocean. Well, not just the risk to Australia, but the whole planet. So, yes, Antarctic sea ice is, is reducing. Arctic ice, sea ice is reducing. That's going to lead to a, a, an accelerated planetary wide warming. We're losing the ice at both ends. There you have it. Until next time.